It is now my pleasure to introduce Brett Nachman, this evening's student speaker. Brett Nachman is graduating with a 4.0 GPA after completing 87 credits. Among his accomplishments are having his short story selected in the SCC produced Vortex 2011 magazine and being a three-time Excellence Under the Stars recipient. He has taken advantage of leadership opportunities, such as being president of the SCC Green Club, editor-in-chief of the Scottsdale Chronicle, the president of Psi Gamma Chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Brett is transferring to Arizona State University's Walter Cronkite School of Journalism and Mass Communication with a full ride scholarship. <laughs> and he was selected on the All Arizona Academic Team. Please welcome Brett Nachman. Good evening, everyone. Administration, faculty, families, friends, and especially my fellow graduating artichokes. <laughs> Come on, you can cheer, it's okay. Take a look at the graduates around you. Who do you see? A war veteran? An international student? A returning scholar? An athlete? a performer, a filmmaker. No matter our backgrounds, no matter our goals, one element ties us all together, Scottsdale Community College. Here's a melting pot of individuals whose ideas and aspirations transform their lives and this institution simultaneously. Through my various capacities on campus, I have learned that everyone offers a story just waiting to be told not one better than another, yet rather each bestowing its own special gift. Until tonight, though, few have heard of much of my story. Let me first take you back about three years ago to when I first started at SEC. I was ta taking Dr. Cameron McElvey's thought-provoking and honestly challenging English 102 class when she introduced me to a piece of literature that really redefined my life. Plato's Allegory of the Cave. Now, if you're not familiar, this work is a metaphor that focuses on an individual emerging from a dark, ignorant space to become more enlightened. For me, this held particular significance. At that point in time, I was, transi at that point in time, I was transitioning from a class of one to an institution of 10,000 as I was homeschooled. Yeah, you can clap if you're homeschooler. It's okay. Okay, I'm glad there's some in the audience. <laughs> now, I'm sure that coming to SEC was also a big adjustment for you, but for me, someone with Asperger's syndrome, it was beyond intimidating. You see, my cave was not only dark, it was almost pitch black. Understanding nonverbal communication and socializing with others, traits that most individuals take for granted, has always been a struggle for me. When I was diagnosed with this autism spectrum disorder, the doctors told my parents to not have very high expectations of me, that I may never amount to much. But my mom and dad dedicated themselves to working with me daily to help develop the academic, social, and emotional skills needed so that I could fit in with my peers. Although I was initially terrified to even set foot on the campus grounds, I was determined to overcome my fears. Now, we have all experienced fear in, at various times in our lives. Fear can paralyze us, or it can provide us with the impetus to forge ahead. An opportunity for an education is too valuable to give up due to fear. 
Education can pull us all out of our caves in different ways. It inspires us to read, review, and research, not to take things at face value. We must contemplate, challenge, and critique. SCC has been the light, the door that opened my world to opportunities. As a reporter and eventually the editor-in-chief of the Scottsdale Chronicle under Professor Julie Knapp's direction, I interviewed dozens of faculty, students, and community members learning and then later writing about their personal stories. As president of Psi Gamma, SEC's chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, I organized and staged events along with my wonderful team, some of them in the audience, um, who also, sh and lending my devotion of education to other students who also share the same values. As a student, I continually grew to become more worldly and more disciplined. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't express my thanks to several remarkable individuals who have made my SEC experience even more extraordinary. Professor Sandra Desjardins, Dr. Eric Haas, Professor Daryl Koff, and Professor Stacy Ann Finson have been especially instrumental in reinforcing my love of learning. Oh, and thanks for putting up with my incessant need to talk with you after just about every class. Okay, I'm glad that got a little laugh. <laughs> My Psi Gamma advisors, Dr. Zoila Tovar Blank and Professor Roberto Ribas, have been pivotal in molding me as a student leader. Thanks, guys, for dealing with my nerdy nature, but I guess now you know why. I'd also like to express my appreciation to Dr. Becky Bradley for, incur for providing encouragement and to, SEC and to SEC's administration, including Dr. Dr. Jan Giller, especially Dr. Jan Giller. Excuse me, whoa, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, doesn't this happen to you guys? Okay. For supporting me and all of us who strive to thrive. Thanks to all of you for making that cave a distant memory. But tonight is not about me, it's about all of us utilizing SEC as the launching pad for our next journey. Some of us will move on to a university to pursue a bachelor's, master's, or even a PhD. Some will start working for a company, hoping to move up the corporate ladder. Some will become entrepreneurs and start their own businesses or nonprofit organizations. Others we may see on a Broadway stage, on the pitcher's mound at Chase Field, or listed in the closing credits of a blockbuster movie. So where are you headed? What is your dream? Walt Disney, a renowned dreamer himself, once said, if you can dream it, you can do it. And those of you in the audience who know how much I love Disney knew I had to throw in a reference somewhere, so there it is. Well, in a few short hours, we leave SEC's melting pot and head out to an even larger one to pursue our dreams. Now I ask you to look around you once more, this time at your friends, and your families in the audience. These are the people who love and support you and will continue to do so in your pursuit of happiness and success. Former British Prime Minister and statesman Benjamin Disraeli once proclaimed, the secret of success is to be ready when your opportunity comes. Well, the opportunity is here now, so let's go out and seize it. Thank you and congratulations, SCC graduates. Thank you. I told you he was extraordinary. Brett, thank you very much.